we are a very diverse country it is natural that the diversity will also express itself in politics but because we are diverse it is very important that we always nurture that sense of nationhood it is not something we always take for granted because there will be other forces who will always try to exploit it i'm not talking uh, you know as a, as a general proposition when it comes to governance it's important i think when people make choices to see really how effective you know if there's a regional party is it what is the quality of delivery of that party is it better for the state that that party is in sync with the center or not are they actually pursuing national priorities is the competence and the delivery of that party good enough i think these are very legitimate questions so a regional party should not get support only because it is regional i think everybody who is regional is also national you know they have equal equal right and equal uh, responsibility also to think uh, nationally on the two khalistan related uh, questions see what has happened is uh, to be honest with you in some countries uh, these kinds of people have organized themselves politically and become a political lobby okay and in some of these democratic countries the the politicians of those countries are made to believe that if they uh, de defer to these people or pander to these people these people have some ability to get a community to support them so they have tried to create space for themselves in the politics of these countries i mean at this time i would say you know it's not so much a problem in the us our biggest problem right now is in canada because in canada actually the today the uh, the party in power in canada other parties in canada have given these kinds of extremism separatism advocates of violence a certain legitimacy in the name of free speech see when you tell them something their answer is no 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 we are a democracy but it is free speech but the point that they need to understand this kind of you know it's no longer a world which runs as a one way street that if there are things which happen out there there will be push back you know the newton's law of politics will apply there also you know that there will be a reaction others will uh, you know uh, take steps or counter it and uh, often i mean when i see for example these kinds of uh, attacks or threats to our embassies because they concern me very deeply and i tell the foreign minister saying suppose it happened to you if it was your diplomat your embassy your flag how would you react so we have to keep our position strong you know on this particular report which has come i also saw it yesterday night i was coming to uh, odisha in the morning uh, okay i mean somebody may have been arrested their police may have done some investigation but the fact is number of gangland people number of people with organized crime links from punjab have been made welcome in canada we have been telling canada saying look these are wanted criminals from india you have given them visas you let they have come many of them in false documentation and yet you allow them to live there if you decide to import for political purposes people with very dubious actually very negative background there will be issues you know they have in some cases created problems in their own country as a result of their own policies no why would we fear i mean if, if something happened there it is it is for them to worry about 